Hey there, everybody. It's Pastor Jason. I'm glad you can join me for Daily Devotionals. Today we're in 2 Corinthians 9. It's a chapter all about generosity. Let me pray. We'll get started. Father, thank you so much for your watch care in our lives. Thank you for your generosity and how you provide for us. May we love you and love your people. May we be generous with what you've given us to steward. We thank you and praise you in your name. Amen. Here we go. Chapter 9, verse 1. Now concerning the ministry to the saints, it was unnecessary for me to write to you, for I know your eagerness, and I brag about you to the Macedonians. Achaia has been prepared since last year, and your zeal has stirred up most of them. But I sent the brothers so our boasting about you in the matter would not prove empty, and so you would be prepared just as I said. For if any Macedonians come with me and find you unprepared, we, not to mention you, would be embarrassed in that situation. Therefore, I consider it necessary to urge the brothers to go, ahead, go on ahead to you and arrange in advance the generous gift that you promised, so that it will be ready as a gift and not as an exhortation. Remember this, the person who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and the person who sows generously will also reap generously. Each person should do as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or out of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver, and God is able to make every grace overflow to you, so that in every way, always having everything you need, you may excel in every good work. As it is written, he scattered, he gave to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. Now the one who provides seed for the sower and bread for food will provide and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way for all generosity, which produces thanksgiving through us. For the ministry of this service is not only supplying the needs of the saints, but it's also overflowing in many acts of thanksgiving to God. They will glorify God for your obedience to the confession of the gospel of Christ and for your generosity in sharing with them and with others through the proof provided by this service. And they will have a deep affection for you in their prayers on your behalf because of the surpassing grace of God in you. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. I think it's those last two verses that really sum up the whole rest of the, the chapter. It's because of his surpassing grace in you and I that we are generous, that people see that generosity, see the generosity in money. That's exactly what this chapter is talking about, but also generosity in grace and mercy can be implied. That when they see our generosity to the people around us, they have, they have to have affection for you and then also affection for the Lord. They, they'll recognize the Lord in that. And thanks be to God for his indescribable gift, that grace that is in you, that grace that is in you and I. It's indescribable. I mean, so here Paul is commending a church to, you know, finish that last 10%. You know, they said they were going to, do something and provide for the Macedonians. Have it gathered together before I even get there. So it's not an exhortation, but that it's a gift that it's already gathered. It's already ready. And no one has to remind you, hey, what about that check you were thinking about writing? When we set out to do something, our yes be yes and our no be no. When we set out to do something, let us be faithful stewards and do the thing we say we're going to do. Let us finish it through completion. As we look to our own lives, as we say yes to some people and no to others, may we be faithful stewards of what God has given us. It's all his, and we just steward it for a, you know 70, 80, 90 years or so. May we be faithful stewards and be generous to those around us. Be a blessing to someone today. Go on out. I hope chapter 9 was a blessing to you. Go out and be a blessing to someone in your day today. And I'll see you tomorrow with chapter 10. May we be faithful stewards of what the Lord has given us.
That was the most rambly trailer truck I've ever seen in my life.